My first memory of sexual health education, I think, uh, was probably in the sixth grade. My teacher, my homeroom teacher at the time, he started this thing called like Girls Club, where he handed us this book about like menstruation and like puberty changes, and he was like, "Okay, when you're done reading the book, pass it on to the next girl." He had a daughter, and I think that might have like really impacted how he saw it because he was a single parent at the time, and he really wanted us to be prepared for what was to come in the future. And I am really grateful to that because I didn't have my parents to talk to about this stuff, and I was like. Oh my god, like, how do you use a tampon? Like, I was afraid to talk to my mom about that, right? And I feel like I shouldn't have been. But at the same time, thinking back, it, it was a little, kind of a little sad that, like, any time, like, a, a student who, like, had a penis would ask about, like, oh, like, what is girls' club, right? Like, why can't we be a part of that? That we kind of, like, didn't talk about it with them. We were like, oh, like, it's exclusive. Because I think it would have actually been helpful for boys to learn about as well. And it would have taken away some of the stigma that's associated with having like periods and things like that, which are totally natural. And then aside from that, in grades like six, actually uh, seven, eight, and nine, we had like formal sex health education. Like it was helpful in that I learned the anatomy and I learned like how sex works, like what it's for and things like that. But also it was always taught by people who didn't look like me, right? So their experience of it and mine were different. and. I like, still didn't really have people to ask questions to. I also like went to a Catholic high school, and I think that also kind of affected what they would were willing to teach us. Like I remember when we were in twelfth grade, um, I took like a morality class, and they like made us watch videos about how abortion is terrible. There was this like one specific video that really I was like, why are they showing me this? Um, which was like, oh, if you watch porn, porn is what made Ted Bundy into a serial killer, and then it was it was kind of like a. And like at that time, I was like, okay, this is like a dumb video, like whatever. But like now that I'm like thinking back, I'm like, why would you show children who are about to like go into the world and become like adults this, right? And I kind of like wonder how it would have like shaped and affected kids who had gone through Catholic school like all their life, because I was only there for four years, and because of that, I had like comparison, and I could be like, that's a little weird. But like kids who grew up with it, they don't know that, right?